working this corporate maths video on simultaneous equations and simultaneous equations with three unknowns. So here we've got a typical question, solve 3x plus y minus 2z equals 7, x minus 3y plus 4z equals 15, and 2x minus 2y plus z equals 12. And we're going to solve these simultaneous equations to find the value for x, the value for y, and the value for z. Now before I do that, I highly recommend you uh, go back and watch the videos on corporate maths and simultaneous equations with two unknowns. Um, if you need a recap of those, or if you're good at those, just carry on watch the rest of this video now. So, what I, uh, I highly recommend, whenever you're solving simultaneous equations with three unknowns, it's very important to set out your work clearly, make sure that it's very clear what you're doing for not only the person marking it, but for you, in case you make a mistake and you need to go back and check your work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna annotate this work. Now, if I was doing this sort of in a test paper, or if I was doing this for my notes, I would sort of maybe even you know, use different color pens, or um, maybe not an exam, but if I was doing it for my notes, I'd maybe use different color pens, etc. Um, in a test paper, I would just make sure that I'm sort of labeling or annotating it the best that I can, okay? So we've got our equations, we've labeled them A, B, and C. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at these variables, X, Y, and Z, and we're gonna cancel out one of those variables. So let's start off by looking at these. I think I can cancel out the Z's quite nicely. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at equation A and equation C. And you here you've got minus two Z, and here you've got plus Z. Now if I double this equation, equation C, so let's do that, so um, equation C, times by two would give us four x minus four y plus two z equals 24. So that's two times equation C. And if I've got my equation A, which is three x plus y minus two z equals seven. And if we add those two together, the z's will cancel out. So if we write add here, I tend to write the add rather than a plus or a minus, just because um, I'd usually write add for the plus and I'd write subtract for the minus, just so that I don't get confused with the sort of um, this first term. So four x plus three x, that's seven x. Minus four y plus or add y would be minus three y. 2z plus minus 2z, well, they're gonna cancel out. And finally, 24 plus seven is equal to 31. So that's, we've canceled out the variable z using equation A and equation C. And I'm just gonna call this equation D just for, you know, just so we know what this one is. Okay, so we've canceled out the z using two of the equations. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna to have to use equation B and one of the other ones to cancel out the z also. So as you can see, equation B has got plus four z. Well, I'm gonna double equation A to get minus four z. So let's do that. So equation A, let's just go over here for the minute. Equation A times by two. Well, equation A times by two would give us six x plus two y minus four z equals 14. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write equation B beneath that. So equation B is x minus three y plus four z and that's equal to 15. And we're gonna add those two equations together. So six X plus X is seven X. Um, two Y, whenever we add minus three Y, that's gonna be minus Y. And finally, or not finally, but uh, finally for the left-hand side, minus four Z, add four Z, where they cancel out, and then 14 add 15 is 29. So let's call that equation E. So we've got two equations, seven X minus three Y equals 31, and seven X minus Y equals 29. We've got two equations with just X's and Y's. So we've canceled out one of, the, one of the variables from the three equations we were given at the beginning. Now I chose Z, you could have canceled out the Y's or you could have canceled out the X's and that would have been fine also, because at this point you would have had two equations where you had just had two variables, might have been X and Z or Y and Z, or in our case, X and Y. It doesn't matter as long as you've just got two equations with just two variables. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna solve the simultaneous equations using D and E, just like the ones that you know how to do already, okay? So we've got the equation 7X minus 3Y equals 31, and 7X minus Y equals uh, 29. Now as you notice here, we've got 7X and 7X, that's great. We can subtract these two equations and the X's will cancel out. So let's write them one above the other. So we're gonna write 7X, let's scroll down a little bit. 7X minus 3Y, equals 31 and we've got 7x minus y equals 29 and we want to cancel out the 7x's so we're just going to subtract these so subtract and that will give us well 7x minus 7x they cancel out minus 3y minus minus y well it's going to add a y on so that will give us minus 2y 
and that will equal three, uh, 31 minus 29 is equal to 2. Um, so dividing both sides by minus 2, well, that's going to give us y equals, and 2 divided by minus 2, that's going to be minus 1. Okay, so we've got our value for y, which is fantastic. y is equal to minus 1. Now what we're going to do is we're going to substitute that into one of our equations, either d or e, to find out the value for x now. So let's just start off with, let's have a look at this, uh, let's substitute it into e. So I'm going to write that down, so let's scroll down again. So sub y equals minus 1 into e. So that will give us, well, 7x will still be 7x, and then minus and then y is minus 1, and that will give us 29. So we have got 7x minus minus 1. Well, minus minus 1 will be plus 1 equals 29. Minus 1 from both sides will give us 7x equals 28. And dividing both sides by 7 will give us x equals 4. So we know now that y equals minus 1 and x equals 4. So we've used our two equations D and E. Now we're gonna go back up to the top and we're gonna use one of the equations from the beginning. Now we've got X and Y. So if, you, if we choose one of those equations, let's just choose A and we sub those in. So if we write sub X equals four and Y equals minus one into A, equation A. And let's just move it down a bit, make it a bit smaller so we can see what equation A is. Okay, so what I've done is I've just taken our equation there from the top and pasted it there. Okay, so let's substitute those in. So 3x, well, 3 times 4 is 12, plus y, well, plus minus 1, minus 2z equals 7. So 12 plus minus 1, well, 12 plus minus will be take away 1 is 11, minus 2z equals 7. So adding 2z to both sides will give us 11 equals 7 plus 2z. Taking 7 off both sides will give us 4 equals 2z. And so that means that z is equal to 2. So we've got our value for x, our value for y, and our value for z. Now a lot of students would stop now. Um, if you're tight for time in the exam, you might want to just move on. But what I highly recommend is now that you, see, you check these values, the x, the y, and the z, to make sure you're right. Now we've used equation A, so let's use equation B or equation C, and just check we're right. So let's just grab one of the other equations here. I've got equation B. Let's substitute them all in to check. Particularly if you're doing your homework, it's nice to sort of check to make sure you've got them right. So subbing in x equals 4, y equals minus 1, and z equals 2 into equation b. And whenever we do that, we're going to get, well, x is 4. We're going to be taking away 3y, so 3y would be minus 3. So we're going to be taking away minus 3. Then adding on 4 times z, well 4 times z is 8, and that should hopefully be equal to 15. Let's check. 4 minus minus 3, that's 7, plus 8 is 15, equals 15. Well, 15 does equal 15, so we know we're right. So that's it. So to solve simultaneous equations with three unknowns, the first thing you're going to do is identify one of the variables that you, you want to cancel out. I chose z to begin with because I thought this would be nice for sort of doubling and, you know, adding or taking away equations and cancelling out the z's nicely. It could be the y's or it could be the x's. Um, so once you've cancelled out the, the z's in two of the equations, then you're going to get then two equations and then you just do normal simultaneous equations with those. And you solve those and then you get those values and you put them back into one of the ones from the very top. Don't use one of the ones that you've multiplied by, you know, two or something because you may have made a mistake, um, but then your values will be wrong anyway. But, um, you know, choose one of the ones from the very top. I chose A. I put in the two values that I knew. I got my Z and then maybe get, you know, if you've got time, it doesn't take long. It took me about 10 seconds. Get those values, put them into another one and just check your right and that's it and as you can see i've annotated my work just to show what i've done so simultaneous equations with three unknowns and um, i like it it's quite a nice topic okay there's lots of algebra there but if you follow the rules and you know and you're you know you just make sure you're very careful with you know minus and minuses and that type of thing you know you should be able to get the marks on those questions quite nicely just as long as you're very careful uh, with the signs and you follow the steps but you know it's quite a nice and straightforward topic on um on the exam and that's it